What's happening YouTube? Thomas here from BigRFX. Today we are going to be looking at a brand new series where I discuss every single concept that I use within my trading strategy. At the end of every lesson we will break down a trades taken recently using the concept discussed in that lesson and you'll be well on your way to understanding how to trade properly. Nice. The strategy has gotten hundreds of my students funded and it is incredibly easy to trade. This series is essentially going to be a free course, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell if you want to stay notified for any future lessons. The concept we're going to be discussing today is called Fresh Imbalance. Not to be confused with Normal Imbalance or FVG as some of you ICT fanboys call it. Fresh Imbalance is a specific type of imbalance that we use in various different ways in our strategy, making it an absolute powerhouse of a concept. Fresh imbalance occurs before every major market movement. It literally initiates every single trend, so much so that we actually focus on it more than market structure itself. In fact, we don't even look at structure breaks at all in this setup, like you'd see in pretty much any supply and demand or smart money model. Most of you will already know what imbalance slash FEG is, but for those of you who don't, we're going to cover that quickly before we do discuss what fresh imbalance is. Imbalance or FEG is a three or more candlestick pan that is used by traders to identify real life order book imbalances that show on the chart. Markets move up and down due to imbalances between buy and sell orders in the order book. So using a concept like this that identifies imbalance shows us where real decisions are being made in the market. The first candle of the pattern is what we call the source candle. This is the candle that will always precede imbalance. The second candle is of course the imbalanced one and the third candle is what we call the confirmation candle. For this pattern to be valid and confirmed as an imbalance, the second candle needs to break past the high or low of the first source candle and the third candle needs to remain away from the source candles high or low that broke, so much so that the wicks don't meet. To make it simple, imbalance occurs when every other candle's opposing wicks don't meet. The trained eye can spot imbalances on the chart within milliseconds, however, if you are like me and you want to keep things as simple as possible, we do have indicators that will mark imbalance candles in a different colour. I will link a free one in the description of this video down below, but we do also have our premium ones that are designed for fresh imbalances as well. Fresh imbalance is a term we have coined for the current imbalance of a new direction. In layman's terms, it's the first bullish imbalance after bearish imbalance, and vice versa, the first bearish imbalance after bullish imbalance. All major trends in the market will start with fresh imbalance, even before a structure break occurs. This is because large market players have already made the decision to enter and imbalance the market well before that market structure break takes place, making imbalance a leading indicator, or at least less of a lagging indicator than structure breaks, just because it does bring us that much closer to understanding the current decisions being made. Now, of course, structure breaks are a great way to confirm if a trend has already been established, but there are some reasons why we have moved away from structure breaks in favor of imbalance. Sometimes the structure that you're looking to break in an entry can be far away from current price action, leading to missed opportunities. And for the most part, structure is very discretional amongst most traders. They don't have a strict blueprint, therefore their strategy and entries are very inconsistent. Whereas imbalance is objective and is the same for everyone depending on what charts you are looking at. Just like the old saying, what goes up must come down, markets will often be imbalanced in one direction, sweeping liquidity, before making imbalance in the other direction. So if you are using fresh imbalance in your plan, you are inadvertently staying away from areas of liquidity as that liquidity has already been swept. What this means is fresh imbalance not only helps us identify new trends, but it keeps us away from liquidity. So you are hitting two birds with one easy to throw stone. And the last benefit I'm gonna bring up about fresh imbalance today is you can use it for your directional bias. Imbalance takes place on all timeframes. So if you are looking at say the daily timeframe, you can get a sense of what direction the market is about to move in and continue moving in simply by looking at the last fresh imbalance that occurred. If the market has produced a fresh imbalance candle that's bullish on the daily, we know that at least for an extended amount of days, the market is going to continue upwards. And this is because once a market is in balance, it will continue moving in the direction of that imbalance for a number of candles until the next fresh imbalance candle occurs. But this is of course going into something else and I will cover this in our volatility zone lesson. So let's look at an example of fresh imbalance on the chart. As I mentioned earlier in the video guys, you can use imbalance for directional bias. So I'm on the daily right now, we are looking at the pound yen. We're going to look for imbalances now to determine what direction the market is likely to move in 
on a daily time scale. Now, without an indicator, I can see that there is imbalance here. We can see that there is imbalance by here. There is also imbalance by here. This is imbalance. This is imbalance. But to make things easier, guys, I am going to turn on an indicator. So we can see now that every imbalance candle on the chart has now been painted black. This is the free indicator that I am going to put in the description down below. But not all of these imbalances are fresh imbalances. The fresh imbalances on the chart is this one and this one. Now, of course, I do like to make things as easy as possible and make things as organized as possible. So I do have my own custom built indicator that actually marks out fresh imbalances for us. And you will see that all of these fresh imbalance candles now will turn blue. So I know whenever there is a blue candle, the market is going to continue moving in that direction. So we know the market on the daily is bullish now and we can expect daily order flow to continue upwards. So we are now going to start marking demand zones now on lower time frames. I use these as confluences just to increase the probabilities on my trades. And we're going to simply draw zones that appear before fresh imbalance. So we can see many blue candles on the charts here. Like I said, you don't have to have an indicator for this. It does just make things a lot easier. We can see that the market has started sweeping liquidity now. I would have had um, zones drawn before all of these fresh imbalances. We do also have an indicator that does this for us as well. You may think that I'm quite lazy. So now that we have all of our fresh imbalance zones marked on the chart, we're going to look for the market now to sweep liquidity. You can see that there is liquidity getting swept by here very impulsively to the downside. The market is hopefully going to get snagged in one of these demand zones. And we're going to come down now onto the 15 minute time frame, which is one of the time frames I use for my entries. And we are going to again look for fresh imbalance. And there we have it. We can see that there is a candle that has been marked blue. We can see that there was bearish imbalance here bullish imbalance here that makes this indicator market as fresh imbalance we can simply draw our zone you can see that this has occurred with high volume which is what we're going to cover in a future lesson we're going to look for a deeper entry using our refined GAN tool and I'm going to target what I usually do at 5R per trade So that's it from me, guys. I am giving away premium indicators to one of my subscribers to participate. Simply just like, subscribe, and comment down below. I do offer farm mentorship, which can be found in the description and on my website. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at VegaFX and Tommy Vega on Twitter. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.